One of the greatest expressions a Christian can make in their declaration of faith is the act of baptism. As first mentioned in Matthew chapter 3, John the Baptist did this as he preached the kingdom of heaven. While this is something that all people should do, although not all will, the idea of baptizing babies just defeats the purpose. This can be found with Catholics, Anglicans, Presbyterians, Orthodox, Lutherans, and many more organizations, as they have this as standard practice, which is more so used as an affirmation for the parents of the child, rather for the child themselves. Now you might be asking, why shouldn't I baptize my baby? Here are some verses. Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9. For by grace ye are saved through faith, and not that of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans 5 verse 13 For until the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Acts 8 verse 36 to 38 And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. The only time a person should get baptized is if they believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and has saved them from their sins. To place the burden on having an infant being sprinkled and or poured water on does not mean anything more than taking an ineffective bath. If you believe in Christ, you should be baptized with water. But even if it had any application to salvation, Sin cannot be imputed where there is no law, in which an infant can have no understanding unlike an adult. If a mother has an infant that dies, the mother should not mourn unnecessarily because somebody didn't say the right words in front of a group of people. The mother should, in her sorrow, find relief in knowing God won't hold any sin against a child who could not know what they were doing. When the child is ready to start serving the Lord based on their own choice, let them get baptized. But growing up in a system that teaches infant baptism means anything is just not biblical.